Hey everybody, let's say you are a business owner. You import goods from an overseas manufacturer and sell them locally. To procure these goods, you will incur various costs like freight costs, shipping charges, handling fees, insurance and packing costs. Apart from all these overhead costs, you will have to pay custom duties as well on the imported goods and any additional fees or expenses incurred during the import process. The sum of all these costs put together is called the landed costs, which is the total cost involved in bringing the goods from the source to your warehouse. In this video, we will learn all about landed costs in Zoho Inventory. First, let's enable landed costs. Log into Zoho Inventory, go to Settings and click Items here. Scroll down, mark this box, track landed costs on items and click Save. After enabling landed costs, we will see how to add them to your bills. Go to Purchases module and select Bills. Click the plus icon to create a bill. Select the vendor from the drop-down. Enter the bill number and order number. Select the bill date, due date and payment terms. Add the item details and here click plus add landed cost to add the landed cost. Enter the details of this cost. Select the respective account from the drop down. Enter the rate. You can choose the customer for whom you are incurring these costs and click here if you prefer to charge them for these landed costs. Then click save as open and apply landed costs. A pop-up will appear where you can select the allocation method for the landed cost amount. The amount will be split accordingly based on the allocation method you select. Select if you want to apply this amount to all the items or only selected items. Then click save. Please note that you will be able to allocate landed costs only to items that have inventory tracking enabled for them. When you add landed costs to any bill, the shipping will be done by that vendor. However, there are cases where your vendor will not offer any shipping for the product and you will have to get it shipped by another shipping agency. In such cases, you can create a separate bill with just the landed costs, in this case the shipping charge, and then apply them to the original bill. Let's see how to do this. First, create a separate bill for the vendor who will get the product shipped. And add the landed costs in them. Then go to the bill for which you want to allocate the landed cost. Click plus add charges from another bill. Select the vendor who will ship your products from the drop down. Select the bill number from which you would like to allocate the cost and the landed cost. Select the allocation method. Select if you want to allocate it to all the items or only to the selected items. Then click save. Let's look at some of the other functions that can be performed. You will be able to edit the allocated landed cost and will also be able to delete them. Or if you want to allocate a new landed cost to the bill, click the more icon here and select allocate landed cost. If you want to charge your customers for the landed costs, click the more icon and select the option to create an invoice here. And that's a wrap for our video on allocating landed costs to bills in Zoho Inventory. Thanks for watching.